Greetings, ladies and gentle cars. We are back for, I was going to say part number four of the race prep guide, but nah, this is the racecraft guide this time around because there's a lot of things that you can talk about in racecraft. The good things, the bad things, how things can go right, how things can go wrong. And today we're going to be talking about how we can make use of the undercut or overcut concept and also ERS management to make sure we get a better race result than we expect or you know if you have a bad start in your race or bad qualifying how do you make use of this and recover in the race as well very quickly while we are loading into the session and the lab will be shown in the background i would love to thank everyone who has supported this channel so far 1000 subscribers it's not an easy thing to achieve especially for uh, someone like me but thank you so much for your support and channel memberships are also up if you'd love to support a little bit more as well it's completely optional but uh, you, you'll get access to uh, early early access to these videos that are released from time to time and a uh, separate section in the discord server where you can give your ideas and opinions on things on this channel as well and if you love to support a little bit more than that and get some benefits out of it such as uh, you know qualifying lap analysis and race lap analysis done by me for you uh, one to one in discord uh, then you know head over to patreon and check out the offers that i have over there uh, perhaps you will love it uh, and i will definitely welcome you with open hands if you'd love to support the channel in that way now uh, with that out of the way, while we are back onto the track, you can see in the background we are going through our qualifying lap. I have opted for a lower downfall setup, 46-36 in Zenfort. Otherwise, you can run higher like 50-40, right? But because it is a rank race, Park Fermi is turned on. So I want the setup to be a little bit more race worthy setup right uh, a little bit easier to drive in the race and to overtake easily and defend easily and recover a little bit more ers which is pretty tough to do in a track like sandboard where there's lots of flat out zones and a lot of downfalls on the car now you can see into the middle sector here as well we are losing a little bit of time on our delta and we have a little bit of a snap here so that's that's what happens right when you lose uh, use a little bit lower downforce it can be a little bit snappy but you know you can get the lap time if you're smooth onto the finish line we recover the lost lap time probably thanks to our lower downforce here a 9.0 definitely not the best lap time i've ever done in my life there's a lot more people who can do faster than me but this is just to show you uh, you know the race concepts how we can apply it regardless of your pace level now the top three gap pretty close and you will see a little bit of battle between me and the guy in P2 which is uh, Minervino and then uh, also with uh, Mr. Garvey in P3 right so majority of these uh, this session here is going to be between three of us heading into the start of a race you want to make sure regardless if you're in P1 or P20 you get a good launch and be early to commit to a line whether on the inside or the outside or the middle line if you have to we get a decent launch here so we decide to you know throw it early into the corner so that nobody dives around the inside and into the the long long right hander and then now the long left hander the banking onto the uh, the run up hill uh, I, I don't know what the name is but since we have lower downforce here i suspect we will be quicker on this part of the track at least you can see minerva you know, behind me is really hustling me so i suspect he is running a lot more downforce than i am and you will see in two corners time he makes a move out of this corner here i take the normal racing line i can see he's around my outside so i decide to leave him enough space this is also you know good race etiquette right if you want to dive down the inside of someone do it cleanly don't hit the other person out and you know in in return as well you know make sure you leave space so he left me space i left him space that's good racing as well at the end of lap one no rush just yet to get into p1 once again i just want to make sure i can follow him in his slipstream throughout the lap and uh, make sure that i can well stay in his drs for the first two three corners and throughout the lap as well let's see how that plays out as we skip into lap three and now coming out of the last corner here drs is activated quite early this is the first real test 
I want to see if I have the top speed over him and it seems like I have quite a bit more top speed because I was able to close up to him quite easily and I even lifted off, turned off my DRS before the braking zone. So throughout this lap, let's ride on board and show you what I'm doing, what I'm thinking around here. So this time around, coming out of the exit of the banking, I'm just using a little bit of battery to give me a little bit boost in acceleration. And when you are within six tenths of the car ahead, you benefit from the slipstream as well. So you do not need to use any more battery. That's one way how you can save a lot of battery in this game, right? If you're within six tenths, you don't have to use battery. If you're out of the range seven tenths or eight tenths, you can use a little bit to get back within the six tenths range. Here as well, I'm getting the DRS. Uh, the guy behind Garvey, it's not a threat so far because everyone, you know, we are just trying to pull away and try to make our own three-man DRS train here, as you can see, right? Now, onto lap four, a lap later, you can see now on the exit, once again, I've turned on the DRS, we are within six tenths. So I'm going to see, once again, am I going to be able to close up that easily? This time around, I noticed he is pushing a little bit on the battery on the exit and I didn't get the chance to close up that easily compared to lap number uh, number three before, right? So you notice, you know, sometimes your opponent may deploy their battery, sometimes may not. So give it two or three laps, learn how your rival in front of you is behaving in terms of their battery usage or maybe uh, just in general where they deploy their battery and whatnot. Running up this hill now, you can see with the lower downforce as well, we are catching a lot. So you know, three laps, four laps into the race. Now I am pretty confident that I have the top speed over him. And let's skip into uh, the start of lap six and see what happens here. Okay, and this time around, we are much closer on the exit, four tenths away only, with a little bit of slipstream, DRS, and well, we didn't even have to use our battery. We get to pass him quite easily and even before the braking zone we managed to get back ahead of him and side tip as well make sure if you want to cut back in front like i did you are clear of the driver driver behind you're not cutting them off into the braking zones otherwise you know that's considered you know moving under the brakes here i use i'm using a little bit of battery just to see if he's able to keep up or you know force him to use a little bit of battery as well because i still have a lot in my reserves but you can see into the middle sector here on this twisty part, tight corners here, he is able to keep up quite closely with that higher downforce. And especially here onto this mini DRS straight, you can also see he is doing a pretty good job of sticking with us all the way. And I'll cut back into the start of the next corner here, because uh, the next lap here, because with that same gap that uh, he have to me now, I use a little bit of battery on the exit just to see if I can survive the attack from him, right? And I do. So I just have to use a little bit of battery to maintain the gap to him with my low downforce and him despite having DRS not able to catch up on the straight. So it's a game of patience here, as you'll see. He loses his back end, unfortunate though. Uh, it was a really good battle going on. I thought at that time, well, this was over, race over, you know, I don't have to worry anymore, right? Uh, just cruise till the end. However, if you look behind, the next guy behind, which is Garvey, he has been following us quite quietly all the while, saving his battery as well in, in, uh, in our DRS. Now he's starting to close up as well in the middle sector. So I suspect he also has quite a bit of a, you know, cornering speed around here, but it's not over just yet, right? So you just have to be patient make sure you are managing your battery at this point you do not need to overspend your battery from here on out so let's see heading into the last sector here uh, onto the straight i'm just deploying a little bit to get that extra boost since i already have the advantage at this part of the track now skipping on to the next part of the race which is the start of the end of lap nine here where gary decides to go for an undercut and you're going to be seeing that he's going to come out after a while let's skip forward you'll see he's behind me by about 20.9 so almost 21 seconds and i have to box immediately this lap to respond to his undercut attempt let's see how do i do on this lap
And now straight away, after two sectors, I've noticed he's caught up by one second already, right? And by the end of the lap, he's definitely going to catch up by almost two seconds here. Uh, he'll definitely have to warm up his tires a little bit in sector one and two as he came out. But now I have to respond. If I wait a lap longer, I'm going to fall back behind him and I'm possibly going to fall down to P3 because, well, two seconds undercut. If I lose, stay out two laps, I'm going to lose four seconds. I'm going to be falling down to P3, maybe even P4, you know, the longer I stay out. On the pit exit now, you can see this is going to get very close. I have the gap just about one second, but I have cold tires now, right? This is the disadvantage of the overcuts, right? You'll have cold tires on pit exit. The person behind will have fresher tires. Not fresher tire will have warmer tires so it will take me probably the same time as him to warm up my tires in sector one you can see I'm not exactly going any quicker in sector two he has warmer tires and he has more downforce presumably and he is trying his best to stay within the rs range he does just about right and i could have used my battery a little bit but that's the thing you have to use your battery sometimes if you are on the cusp of breaking drs go for it use that battery try to break away if it fails then start saving your battery once again as a result of that now he's within seven tenths of me he's got drs now it's the same game all over again but now with a different person on the exit six tenths was the gap now you can see he's using his battery i'm not sure if he has more downforce than me or low downforce than me or if he's using battery right now there could be a lot of things why he caught up so fast right so it's my job to make sure I am not wasting my battery. Now into sector one, once again, this time around, I could feel the car is gripping up a little bit more. On the exit, I'm just not using any battery. I just want to see if he's able to follow me closely or if he's going to use his battery or not. So let's stay for this entire lap and see how do we tackle that throughout this uh, sector one, two and three. Right, much better grip there right now after a lap you can feel the car is starting to grip up but he is still within the rs here and he has the slipstream benefit as well he's following me quite easily in this sector two now heading into sector three once again i'm going to test him whether he has enough stop speed to get past me or not so on the exit i am not using any battery just yet he's six tenths away so there's no reason for me to go defensive at all right so i already know if the gap is about six ten seven tenths it's impossible to make an overtake but if it gets any closer than that then i will have to respond so these are the crucial laps here especially the first few laps after the pit stops have concluded you want to make sure you are not always using a battery here once again i am forcing him to use his battery as well trying to break drs here to see if um, you know he responds as well sometimes you can force your opponent into using their battery as well if they have higher downforce they're gonna lose much more battery anyway right still in the middle sector here because of his skills probably and also maybe better downforce he's able to catch up by a tenth or two and again i am forcing myself to use battery to force him to use battery as well into the last sector two purple so far accidental double downshift there broken wheel whatever on the exit again i'm using my battery here not enough you know he is still within drs but now i'm still going to force him to use his battery he knows i am pushing and i know he is pushing to get back within drs i've decided to stop pushing right now to keep at least 20 percent of battery and on the exit in on the entry into turn one my bad i have pulled out one second gap he is still pushing and now on this banking here out of this banking once again i'm going to try my last attempt to pull away here and i do so just enough and i've pulled out 1.2 second of a gap here with high downforce probably he's going to fall back and into this middle sector here i think we've done it right we've sealed the deal let's see heading into these tight corners here is he going to catch up easily or not looks like he's not being able to catch up so perhaps we have done just enough here and with enough battery in the reserves i think we can pull away from here on out so 1.2 second gap this is pretty much in the victory zone already right two more corners here yeah make sure no mistakes 
and let's skip into the last corner of the last lap here across the line this is going to be not an easy win but it was a well calculated win here good job as well by Garvey and then Minervino early on you know to showcase uh, the good ways of overtaking and then performing the undercuts as well uh, those are some of the things that we can take away from today's lesson right so TLDR conclusion number one undercut is very powerful it gains you at least two seconds on a short track and in longer tracks like spa you can definitely gain at least three seconds uh, to the driver ahead and get you back in the drs range probably even uh, you know in contention for the race win if someone is attempting the undercut on you all you have to do is you make sure you are pushing with your battery on your in lap so you minimize the time loss and make sure you get a good entry in the pit lane good exit out of pit box right uh, you don't want to get any speeding penalties uh, and then just manage your race from there on it's gonna take a lot of trial and error a lot of experience as well you you, you will get better as you race more and more with that thank you so much for watching i'll leave you with the end screen of my current patrons and channel members only one so far but uh, i'll hope to see the list growing in the future so take care everyone stay safe and goodbye